Man, it's been a while since I've done a rant on this channel. And what a perfect time to start doing rants with the topic I'm about to discuss. Because this is a topic that's been on not just my mind, but everybody else's mind. At least everybody that uses YouTube and is a fan of YouTube and is actively a YouTube user, you know, all the time. So yeah, if you haven't been on YouTube lately or you haven't read the comment section of me, how could you not because you're watching a YouTube video right now? Well, but if you haven't noticed, the YouTube comment section is now powered by Google+. Yep, the old comment section is gone. No more top comments, no more the ability to see the, re the, the user replying to another user, the, the, up the video uploader replying to another user, you know, stuff like that. And then you got the, the rest of the comments below. Nope, it's completely different. Now, you, now you've got like, the Google Plus comments are like, top comments, you have this little bar thing that says, top comments, and then if you switch it, it says new is first. And it's a mess. It's a freaking mess. It's completely unorganized, and it just doesn't make sense to me at all. <sighs> it's, it's, it just doesn't make sense. But really, am I complaining about it? No. Because I know, I know that YouTube is trying to make you, I mean, Google is trying to make YouTube a social network site like Facebook. YouTube is becoming Facebook, and all the signs are showing. Google is so desperate to try to compete with Facebook, it's not even funny. Because nobody wants to use Google+. Plus. Nobody even cared about Google+, Plus in the first place. So, how did they get more people to use Google+, Plus? they just shove it in the face of many YouTubers. Shove it in the face of people who use YouTube. In order to get more people to use Google+. Plus. Because nobody wants to use it. I guarantee you, if they ha didn't force Google+, Plus on YouTube, nobody would use it. And that's the truth. I mean, just look at the signs. You got, um, you got the channel layout. I mean, look at the channel layout that's, that's, right, that's there right now. Now compare that to Facebook. Does it look familiar? Oh, of course it does. And then you've got the ability to use your Google Plus name. Which I don't think is that bad. I mean, I like the idea of being able to change your username because I, I didn't like... My original channel is AliRx87. So I, I've been dying to drop it to just AliRx. And I think the Google Plus thing was, was a great opportunity to capitalize on that. But if people didn't... Here's the problem. They're forcing you to change to your Google Plus name. And there are some people who are just fine with their YouTube name. I mean... So why can't they just give the option to just... give To just keep their YouTube name? Instead of, instead of just making a Google Plus name. It's just, it's just annoying as fuck. And now we've got the comments section. Man, it, it, it's slowly, slowly but surely YouTube is be gonna become Facebook. I guarantee you that, or or FaceTube or whatever. And you know what? You, you, people complain so many times about the constant changes in channel layouts, how it's getting worse and worse and worse over the years. And YouTube just doesn't listen. They don't just respond to these complaints. And that's why I stopped caring about the comp caring about YouTube changing. I, I got used to change changes like this. So there was just no reason to complain about this shit anymore because YouTube ain't gonna listen. Google ain't gonna listen. So why bother? And I know people are gonna be like, well. Uh, if they keep doing this, I'm, I'm gonna go to another site like blip.tv. Yeah, and I, I know exactly how you feel, but let's, let's face it, YouTube has no competition. No real competition, at least. Sites like Blip, Dailymotion, Vimeo, or whatever you want to call them, they don't hold a fraction, they only hold like a fraction of what the YouTube traffic has. That's, and that's the fact. So, if you, if you have like thousands, if not millions of fans and subscribers on YouTube, 
and you immediately jump ship to blip.tv all because you're just sick of the shit that YouTube puts up with? Well, you can kiss your fan base goodbye because there's high there's a high chance that you're going to lose a lot of your fans and your popularity is going to go right down the drain. Now, would you want that? That's something to think about. Cuz I I've seen a lot of pe people who are very popular who had like 20,000 subscribers and went jump ship to blip.tv or some no-name site that nobody goes to and just lose all their fans in the process. Shots fired. <laughs> hint, hint. But yeah. Yeah. I know, I understand how you feel about the Google Plus changes. I, I'm sick of it too. But the bottom line is we have to deal with these changes. Or risk losing exposure. It, what's it going to be? It, you either have two choices. Either deal with, either deal with the Google Plus crap, or lose any chances of getting exposure, or lose your fan base, or stuff like that. I think I'd rather go with the former. I'm Alex, and I tell it like it is.